What did I tell you about keeping your fucking dog off my yard? I fucking told you. How many fucking times? What's this? What? Yeah, me? I'm gonna fucking show you what I fucking mean. I mean fucking business. Come here. Fuck you. Come here. Hey everybody, welcome to today's tactical tip. I've got Brad with me and I've got Mac, two instructors for us here. And what you just saw was them run through a scenario. And that could have been just uh, two neighbors that are upset. It doesn't really matter the situation. What we want to share with you today is just one small tactic. And that was about a dos manos weapon. Now dos manos just means two-handed. And also I want you to understand is that there are things in the environment, they're all around us, things like a garbage can, things like a chair in a restaurant, but things that it take two hands for you to pick them up. But what they are is they're great barriers. You see, the more motivated Mac was to get Brad, when Brad's coming out, just dropping off the garbage, whatever it is, when Mac come at him, picked up a weapon, just something he found lying in the grass, he picked it up, he went at him. Brad could have dropped that and he could have managed distance and then a whole lot of things. But what he did was he gave himself options. He bought himself time. Now, I want to, I'm going to step out of frame for a second. I just want you to watch it again because the second that he picks up this garbage can, this, this bigger object, it creates a distance, it creates a barrier that now the person assaulting has to actually figure out how to get through the barrier. Now all you're gonna see Brad do is he watches how he tilts his hands. That way he doesn't have his hand on top exposed. If Mac winds up and swings big, Brad just kind of tilts his hands. And the other thing you're gonna see is you're gonna see Brad at the right times kind of thrusting or pushing that garbage can in towards his face. He also could do that down towards the legs depending on how heavy it is or if it's a chair or some of that, he could thrust it into the legs. We would transition out of this. But today's technique or today's tactic is using what is called a dos monos or a two-handed object, something you need two hands to hold, and using that as a barrier to stop somebody, especially with a weapon, who's coming at you at a high rate of speed with some intensity. Okay, so let's take a quick look at it. So we'll just back up a little bit. So all as you see again, you see Max standing in here, and there's the barrier. See now, notice how Brad, he's, he can see where the stick or where the weapon is coming from. So when Mac goes to swing, all, that's good. All he does is he keep makes sure that his hands are not on the top, not easily accessible to Mac, like that. Yes, that's it. Now the rest of it is, look at Brad, he's staying a little bit lower. He's dropped down, he's squatted in to make sure he has some stability. And now all we're gonna get him to do a bit is just, don't even swing Mac, but when Mac comes forward, Brad, Brad back, yeah, there's the thrust. So he's timing it. So if Max swings in, Brad can just kind of thrust in and use that as a way to push him back. Perfect, awesome guys, thank you. <coughs> so you see, all we wanted to show you today was that we have to be able to use the things in the environment. Something like a garbage can, whether it's a metal one, a plastic one, a chair, there's so many different things, but the next time you're out, take a look around. And it could be something that, you know, you're not gonna swing it at them like a weapon. It's not an offensive tool, but it's a barrier. You can pick it up, get a little bit low with it, and kind of thrust it towards the guy and just use that to buy you some time to either be able to transition into something better, to get a better or more advantageous position, or to even transfer and then move in to being able to more effectively defend yourself. But today's concept is just dos manos, okay? And we wanted to share it with you. All right, everybody, remember this journey is about helping you become your protector, your family, your loved ones, your modern day protector. I want you to have an unbreakable mental toughness to live with an unwavering self-confidence in the face of violence, aggression, and terror. Okay, and so if there's any way that we could be of service, please talk to us today. Other than that, everybody, until next time, as always, stay safe.